Hey everybody, how are y'all doing on this beautiful Tuesday morning? I hope everybody's doing all right out there. Now, back in the early 2000s, this is about 2007, my sister was uh, uh, dating a guy. I don't know how they met or anything. Uh, I know she and I, don't, like I said, I don't know how they met, but uh, everything was going good for a while. They had a... Uh, kid together but as time passed we noticed that she every time we seen her she was bruised or had a black eye or had very recently had her nose broken wouldn't tell us what was going on and as time passed by she uh, ended up getting addicted to uh, pain pills and all those others that most people get addicted to that's related to pain pills and comes to find out that her, uh, that her, the guy she was dating, he was a, a beating her and everything, and, uh, took her down the wrong path in life, and even had her, even got arrested for a few, or she ended up getting arrested a few times because of, uh, you know, the path is leading her down, and we kept trying to help her out, but she'd go running back to him. For whatever reason, she'd never leave him, never file reports, and finally one day it beat her to the point that uh, she ended up in the hospital a few days, and uh, me and my brother-in-law went over there to confront him about it, but he had done skip town and moved away, and uh, he stayed gone for a couple of months thinking it would all die down and nobody would uh, say anything, but... Uh, when he came back, me and my brother-in-law found him, and uh, we roughed him up a little bit. Now, was that the right way to handle it? No, we should have let the police do their thing and take care of it. But, you know, when you're beating so is I'm highly against beating women. I think you have to be the lowest form of life to do that. And then, seeing as it's my sister, he was doing it too, I was... You know, clearly going to send a message to him if he did it again that he was going to get a worse or beaten. But uh, finally, after she got out of the hospital, she smarted up and got full custody of her kid and got a restraining order against him. And that was it. Of it. That was the end of it for a while. And Carl ended up biting him in the butt. And he, uh, the next girl, he ended up getting with and he did the same thing to her as he did my sister and ultimately he ended up going to jail for a while for not only uh assaulting her for uh having all kinds of drugs in his house and what uh from what i remember of it he got close to 10 years and uh, he got out i haven't heard much more about him I don't know if he's just trying to lay low or he moved off or he's got better at hiding what he's doing. But ladies, if you find yourself out there in a relationship where you're getting beat and forced to do stuff you don't want to do, don't be afraid to say something to somebody. I promise you that somebody will help. Go to the police, the neighbors, try to get a message to family. You don't have to take that. Well, anyway, I hope everybody has a good rest of their day, and I'll see you in the next video.